Hello there and welcome back to Dungeon Hunter Champion. So this may look slightly different to the last video and you can see I've got a new character here and that's because I've actually moved on from our Android account to my PC account. So I did a ton of stuff on my Android account but then I realized, hey, the game's out on PC. Why don't you just play it on PC? Isn't that much easier? And the answer is yes. So this is why we are here. So, um, I do have quite a good idea of what is going on in the game now. Because, again, I'm pretty much at the end of, I think, like, board 7 on my Android account. So, when we're going through this, it's not just going to be nonsensical stuff. And this main person that I've got here is the Babagrook thing. You might have seen it last time in the boss fight. So, we have a, a plant version of her. And uh, she's been pretty good so far. So what I've been trying to do is on Android I use most of the base characters like the main fire guy, main water chick, but I want to do it differently on this account. At least something new. And this this mage has been doing some pretty nice work for us. And another bonus about um, PC along with, you know, it's easier to move, easier to just do everything basically, is that you get to watch unlimited amounts of ads. At least at the moment. So I was just sitting here farming, like really early on, just getting a ton of bonus stuff just for watching ad videos. So I almost have 200,000 or close to it anyway. So we'll be able to make our own guild soon, which is something I didn't even do on my mobile. But the controls are different. We use our mouse and right click to move around on this version. And the abilities, as you can see, they're QWE, just like League of Legends and other MOBAs. So, you know, I have played stuff like League. I've played some Dota and Heroes of the Storm. So this feels a lot more familiar for me. A lot more familiar. And we got a, a little blue rat. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And the bonus to doing the videos this way is uh, I can actually talk while I'm playing. Whereas, if you couldn't tell, it was post-commentary with the other stuff, which I don't always prefer, to be completely honest with you. So what is this? Must we have really travelled to such a crude place? You're pretty annoying sometimes, you know that? I have seen cosmic seas erupt in astral beauty, so excuse me if I act annoying when I'm forced to look at such a drab landscape. This is the ar the arena, Astromancer. The land has been shaped by the countless battles fought here. Sounds beneath me. Well, if you want to protect your astral beauty from the corruption, you better start rolling up those cosmic sleeves and get to work. Well set. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm still kind of lost with the lore. I just know that they're trying to fix something with ley lines and that is like it. But this is a little arena fight. So we just run in and sort of bash things up, and uh, these these mini enemies aren't going to do like anything to us, especially with this mage, because I'm getting in a little bit closer than I need to. We can just stand like miles away, and then nothing can touch us. But I want to get a new support as soon as I can, because you know the blue chick seems to be doing well so far, even pretty late game. But I, I just want to try out the other supports. I've never really had a chance to, and I haven't found that many, to be honest with you. But I, I do want to try a different one. Again, I just want to go with some crazy characters, lizards, stuff like that. This chick, which is just Swain 2.0, I'm happy with that. Just picking some random garbage and making it work, I suppose. If we can get this massive demon lord guy later on, I think he's okay. Don't know how good exactly. But approach with caution. This drunken guard seems corrupted and could strike at any moment. I'll handle this, trembling damsel. Dragon guard, move out of the way or face my wrath. Oh my god, look at how derpy he is. <laughs> he's so clunky. I need backup. Help, help. Oh, majestic mystery. Save me. I beg of you. Can we please drop her off at the next plane of existence? Yes. 
So you'll, you'll probably see I'm not really paying attention to the elemental weaknesses or anything like that at the moment. And the main reason for that is, well, I, I don't really need to worry. Because we have a super leveled up Baba Grook thing. Whatever it's called. I don't know. It's just the Crow Lady. We have a super leveled up Crow Lady wearing all of the legendary um, pre-registration armor that you get. So, I think she'll be pretty much unstoppable for, like, a good while. Uh, she's been doing very nice work. I don't use my E as often as I probably should, because the E on this chick, I think it's 25% of her HP, and it gives her stat boost for a short time. So, it comes with a little bit of risk. But the amount of bonuses that you get out of it definitely makes it worth it. But I, I am not very effective against this guy at the moment because he is fire. But it's fine. I mean, look, we can just sit there, let the red guy tank it all, and that's fine. I think what we really need is we need a good tank. And I did have a really good tank on my other account. I might get a different elemental type of that tank that I had because I loved him. I loved my other tank. I'm not going to spoil who it was, but if I can get him back just in a different version, I'll probably like that. So several time crystals are under attack in the ancient temple. We must defend them. Your time is running out, Boon Sister. You are on my plane now. Ah, Vimmel, is that you? Allies, please step aside. The Timekeeper is a dear friend of the Astromancer. Take one step closer and you will find yourself out of time. A Timekeeper must defend the Time Crystals with their life, yet you try to destroy them. How have you strayed this far from your path? Okay, guys, let's skip the pleasantries and just cut to the chase. That guy is corrupted and we gotta end it. Ready? Break. God, way to burst everyone's bubbles. You know, they're just trying to have a little bit of conversation... Trying to, you know, get to know each other. Although, you know, I guess if they're corrupted, they're just, like, spouting off nonsense anyway. So maybe you can't really make sense of it. And we're back to defending the crystals. One thing that I did notice the more I played is that all of the modes just repeat themselves. Just on higher difficulties. So the escort missions, the, um... Like, defense missions like this one, the the temple or, you know, base destruction ones will repeat themselves. They just get gradually harder the further down you are or depending on what board you get to. So that's something to keep in mind. That if you're not really a fan of super repetitive stuff, honestly this might not be the thing for you. If you don't mind the sort of grindy aspect to games like this, then you'll probably love it. God, why'd you move him out of the way just as I threw that? God damn it. But apart from that, you know, despite how grindy it is, despite how blatantly kind of paid to win certain aspects of this game are, I've still been enjoying it quite a bit. So, what kind of score would I give it? I still don't know. I think I'd have to fully finish the the main campaign first, if there is an end. But, I don't know, it's certainly intriguing. And it's got a lot of different game modes. Whether those game modes are stolen or not <laughs> is under contention. But the waters are rippling with anticipation. Be on guard, allies. The stars! It can't be! The stars show a bull demon king trying to break free, and he's coming this way! A bull demon king? First of all, that's not even a thing. And sec, I will not be contained. You all shall fall and I shall be free. Do not doubt the stars, my thick-witted friend. So uh, this is going to introduce us to these bull demons. These are raid bosses, I guess you could call them. Um, and you will see this fight two billion times if you play this game. Because when you get to the point where you start grinding a lot more, you will start redoing these raid fights like seven million times. It even asks you to do it in quests. So, 
the game's like saying, hey, if you do this nine times, we'll give you a reward. So we don't even really have much of a choice in the matter, unfortunately. But, speaking of which, I think we do have a couple of quests that we should probably be doing. So we will, we will take a look at those after we finish this fight off. Because the, the little quests that you're given, daily quests, just the special quests and missions in general, they will help you level up so quick. Hello, bull demon. How are you? I actually have no idea how much damage we're going to be doing. And we need to avoid running into his big axe attack here. We need to try and keep our support alive as much as we can. Ow! Ow! Ow, that's a lot of damage. You can avoid the axes mostly just by standing right at the front, like in the corners usually. Are you going to heal me, support? No, don't use it over there. Well, it died anyway. Can't say I didn't have fun fighting that thing, but I'm also positive I don't want to face another. This is the work of my good friend turned bitter enemy, Vimmel the Timekeeper. He is using his powers to disrupt the multiverse. Why do I feel like I'm the only one who talks sense around here? Your mistake, ignorance for knowledge, meathead. There is a multiverse out there thriving without you. Some worlds are built of machines, others of fire. I know one or two made out of candy. These variances comprise the heart of the multiverse. But no variant realm is above time, and no one knows this better than the timekeeper. I fear we are up against time itself. Expect creatures from realms that even I have no answer for. We are delving into parts unknown, parts profound, parts pernicious. Boon sister, can you please say what she just said, but eight times slower and like four times clearer. Either way, that is a victory for us. That is board 5. I think at board uh, or level 6 is when we get our next reward. But anyway, I said I was going to check out these missions. So, what have you got for me? Use a friend's champion. Okay, fine. We'll do it in the next adventure. Fine, fine. I sense an enormous presence, one of unending power. I suggest you all prepare yourselves for the worst. Ah, oh, freaking heck! Where the freaking heck am I now? Uh, what's up, root weird girl? You're in a weird and messed up land called Valora. Valora? Voxia girl, what you? Get yourself into this time! You're in the world of Valora, young one. Fear not, for the water shall embrace you. Ah, oh, crap! Mar always said don't go speeding into strange portals, but did I listen? Nah. Okay, so we've been introduced to this very, very weird girl now. Um, what we need to do is we need to take one of these guys out. We'll take out the fire guy and we will uh, use the OP uh, friend guy. So, well, I did use this last time, I believe, but um, it does refresh after a day, I think it is. So you can use him once a day and it wants us to use it for the quest, so we'll do it. So this is our escort mission, we will swap on over to him, because whenever you get to use your friend's dragons, especially when they're this huge, hulking land mass, basically, why the heck not? Why the heck not use them? So this guy, I still don't know how to feel, he's just so incredibly tanky. And a lot of the tanks in this game are genuinely so tanky. It's it's unreal. Like, they seem to barely do any damage, but they just never die. Like, I don't know what you're meant to do against them. You can lower their defense, but when you have this much health and as many defensive abilities as they do, I, I just don't know. I don't know anymore. Either way, this should be a pretty easy fight. Yeah, look, he's, like, ten shots. Nice! Very good. <laughs> he just looks so much scarier than the other characters that we have. Like, literally, just look at the guy. Freaky. So there we go, that is done. That is mission complete. So now, what else do we have? What other rewards are you gonna... Are you gonna give to us today? Use a friend's champion, done. Finish scenario 11. Yep, we did that. So they give us the marksman chick here. I don't really want to use her this time. 
fight in the arena. Well, we can try out the arena for the first time on here, so welcome! You can acquire battle emblems by defeating opponents in the arena. Use battle emblems to buy fantastic rewards from the PvP tab. Additional rewards are sent at the end of every week. Yeah, yeah, yada yada. So, first person we are going to go up against, uh, they are a much higher level than us. That's the main issue I have with this. Whenever you go against them, like, look, their levels are just so much higher. If we do this fight, we're probably going to lose. God, I'm gonna have to put a level one in. Fine, we will... Um... Whatever, we'll put in a red tank. Who cares? We're probably gonna lose it anyway. We'll just go in and, uh... See how much they destroy us. And as soon as we get a second support or something, I think we might be a lot better off. But for now... Oh! Did the game crash? I... I... Guess... The game crashed! Well, welcome back! After me trying to do the arena fight about 15 times, um, it finally did it once without crashing, so, you know, kudos to you Dungeon Hunter champions. Thank you for finally allowing me to, um, do a single arena fight so I could get this thing out of the way. So it wants us to set our defense team here, whatever, we'll just set the main guys. I don't even know who the fourth one's gonna be. Sure, go ahead. It's fine. I just want these quests and that out of the way. Attempt any scenario of board two. Well, I mean, we've already done some of these fights, but whatever. We'll move on to fight seven and this should do it on the way. So, ah, so the eternal contest has drawn us back into the Veil of Eternity. The battle will be more challenging. We face an enemy champion. In the Veil of Eternity, your enemies will resurrect after being slain. You will need to defeat them more than once. So then, this is another one of those League of Legends-esque style levels, as I normally like to call them. So we will go into this, and these are normally super duper easy like levels. I'm not sure if they're meant to be as easy as they are. But they are very easy from what I've experienced so far. So let's let's not um regret saying that. So kill three enemy champions. Oh god, they are all fire though, aren't they? Maybe this was a mistake. Either way, we'll start off with that W because it does ongoing poison damage, which is always very nice. And you'll see, just why do the towers take so much damage? That's the main thing I don't understand, like, why so much? And with her defense down, yeah, you get wrecked, Sunny Jim. And one thing with this game is people are pretty much always talking in... I'm not sure if that's a, a global chat, just a regional chat or something, but there's probably a setting to turn that off somewhere. I don't know where, so we'll just leave it on for now. Unless they start... I don't know, coming out with, like, racist stuff, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue anyway. It's normally pretty friendly in there from what I've seen, just people saying, Hey, can I join a guild? Can you, can you add me as a friend? I'm very lonely. So, you know, the chat for the most part is very useful for a number of different reasons. And I thought the game had crashed then, thank god. So, join a guild. You want me to join a guild? Does that count if I make my own soon? Because you see all these guilds, they have players. Oh, apart from this one, let's join this one for like two seconds. My application's been approved! You can check in to receive rewards based on the number of members of your guild that check in each day. I will check in for you, Clan Rampart. And we have three members. So to create guild coins, you must send a gift to all of your guild's members. The more active the guild's members are in your guild, the more guild coins we will create. Okay, well, I'll send a gift. Uh, did that work? That Did that work? I'm assuming yes. It made a noise. Okay. Cool. We did another mission. Train a champion. Um... We need a fourth. We need a fourth. I don't know who the fourth I want to... What fourth I want to use, though. 
I kind of want a light or a shadow before I start upgrading stuff too much. But whatever, we will train him using a, a, a this thing. Whatever, go ahead. Yay, we've trained. As long as it gives us our gems, I don't care. So finish scenario 11 of board 2. That's going to be a couple, a couple more fights for us so we can continue on now. Thank you for the jemmies. And you have come far enough, Invoker. They take your champions and leave. Timekeeper, embrace the being you once were. There is still good in your heart. That time has long since passed. Now perish with your deaths. Nothing will stop me from piercing the very fabric of the multiverse. Now he is pretty dead set on uh, ruining our day from the sounds of it. And some of the character portraits after they've... What's the, what's the word that they use? Ascended or something. After they've ascended, they look so much cooler. Like, I'm sorry, some of the basic ones are just kind of plain. The ascended ones, they look pretty cool. Make sure we get this chest on the way up here. Break all the, all the little containers in that as well. These little, um, dragon things, they are pretty cute, but they are, like, completely useless. Like, I considered using one on my team, and that it just sucks. There's, an, there's no other way to put it. I'm sorry if I offended you little dragon things, but I wish you were a lot better, to be honest. I really wish you were. So, where are we headed? Oh, wait! These these were not my friends. I thought that they were my allies for a second. Uh, don't mind me. I was like, why can't I go any further? Why am I being prohibited? And it turns out it's because that we are in a kill count mode. We just need to murder everything around here. God, if I if I just pay more attention to the game mode that we're in, this would be a lot easier. So where's the next guys? There we go. I was gonna say, are they are they gonna spawn? Have I broken the game again? Ugh, it's just trying to work out how to fix that arena bug was very painful. Very, very annoying. So now whenever whenever anything happens, I'm like, is that a bug? Have I broken it? Is the game going to crash on me? <laughs> uh, very reliable, by the way. But pretty easy. Let's go back to the adventure mode. Let's just get to scenario 11. Whatever. That's the boss fight. We can do it. So, like, whoa, who's that beautiful hunk of muscle mass? I was just about to say that. Wait, hold on. You're me? I'm you? Where? Oh, sweet majestic mystery. Save me from this nightmare. I believe one of you is a reflection of the other. Not unlike when you peer into a lake and see... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of us is real and one of us is fake. The real me would definitely beat the fake. I agree with the handsome fake. Most kill stays. So this is another new sort of mode that we've got here. You'll see that we're fighting a fire guy, so it might just be a good idea to take the water chicken. So, again, we're trying to beat this guy on how many kills we can get. So this is kind of like last hitting of minions, in a way. So he is just going to be here, and he's going to work as a distraction, which is going to work out fantastically for us. Because, I mean, if he's taking a lot of the damage, that's, that's fine by me. Maybe this chick wasn't the best if we're considering, like, actually last hitting stuff. But, should work for now. I mean, as long as we can try and time it, it's just her, her auto attacks don't do a whole lot, unfortunately. So, I don't know, maybe we should have just taken our equivalent of him. Would, would that have been fairer? I think the idea is just to save all of your big attacks until you really need them. So when there's a line of enemies, you can just take them all out at once. It's just her cooldowns can be kind of troublesome at times. And plus I can't see where my cursor is because they've made the cursor so impossible to see on PC. Why would you do this? It's a MOBA. Why would you make your cursor so hard to tell where it is? Whatever, I'm just complaining. Mad cause bad, you know what they say. 
Come on. I keep timing it so I want to last hit and then I miss where they are. Plus his auto attacks just do more than mine. Come on, give me a line of stuff. That was not soon enough. I just can't beat him in the last hit war. So annoying. We've got 13 seconds left. Can we do it? I don't think we can. Yeah, I, I, I don't think we've succeeded here. He beat us by one. That is rather annoying. So I will go back to gear up. What I actually do want to do is just change to a different character. I thought since we were going against fire guys that it might just be better to use her. But no, her, her last hitting is awful without a lot of armor and that. So yeah, skip the dialogue. Get out of here. I'm going back to our plant chick. So let's hope that her big AOE poison thing will help us. I mean, it's just sort of annoying how weak the other characters end up feeling when they don't have the good armor on them. Is that just me? But they, they feel like they suck. Like, majorly suck. And we are taking a ton of damage because we're weak to these things. As long as we don't die. As long as we don't die during this, we're okay. You can just see how much more damage we're doing in general. Our last hits do a ton more. So, it turns out support chick isn't as good as I thought she was going to be. That's what I mean, I always get disappointed with her for one reason or another. It's just, I, I, it's kind of like nostalgia where you remember things better than what they are. And I think that's just the, the case with her. So, yeah, we are like way ahead this time. We could just sit around and just let him take a ton of damage for a little while here. Because again, we don't want to die. That is the only possible issue that I think we're going to undergo here. Dying. Generally not a good thing. Well, I think it depends. Some situations I suppose it could be. I, 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 I need this cursor to change. Like, I, I just can't see the thing. Whatever, let's hope that there's like a, a hotfix or something that changes that in future. It's just like, why would you make the cursor? So incredibly, like, fitting in with the background. Weird design choice. Very weird. And can we, can we not continue to murder me over here, please? Like, I'm just trying to live out my life without any stress. Yeah, just go on him. Keep, keep attacking him for another four seconds. Do it. Don't go on me. Oh god, that was kind of scary. <laughs> It's like we went way too ham at the beginning and just let them, like, wail on us. As long as we didn't die, it was okay. We still had a couple of potions, so if we needed to use them, we could have used them. But aye aye aye, give me some better characters soon. Give me some better stuff. Speaking of which, we have some stuff that we can summon. We have a rare that we could get using gems. I don't really want to do it. What I want to do is... As risky as it is, I really want to try and get the summon for the Archangel here. So we're going to do it. What do we get? Are you kidding me? A second one? Out of all the things you could have possibly given me, you gave me a duplicate boon sister? I am so disappointed. I am like... A 90 out of 100 disappoint. Why would you do that? I just wanted something new. <sighs> Whatever. I am not impressed. Not impressed in the slightest, in fact. But fine. Game, if you want to screw me over like that, go ahead. See if I care. I don't care about anything anymore. All that you've done is make me a sad girl. While we're here though, what we will do is we will put a couple more pieces of equipment on. Just because if we have it, why not? A uh, red guy, sure, take the pendant. Take whatever this does, just a 
crappy bit of extra HP. More HP stuff. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Take it. Because you say I already upgraded the legendary armor on her as well. Uh, we might have to upgrade some of this armor because at this rate, we are going to end up needing at least two characters to go into stuff with. So we can do upgrade times 10. Sometimes the upgrading does fail, like here, and then it'll try it again, but it's going to fail again. There we go. Finally worked. We got a daily quest complete for doing that. Thank you for the extra coinage. I just kind of... I wanted to save up to get that guild unlocked for us. Because again, we got our members... Oh, we got another member. Collect. Collected guild coins have been sent to your inbox. Yeah, sure. Gimme. Thank you for the guild coins, my friends. So, what is this? Upgrading the guild will increase random stuff. Cool. I mean, we're very far off this Nat 2S 1.3 million point sort of thing. But, um, again, I, I sort of plan on leaving this guild anyway and making my own. Just because if we got all the, the gold and that to do it, why wouldn't we? Just why not? So what have we got in the black market today? We have a blue Fragmantis. I actually might buy that just on principle. Just because we don't have one yet. And is that like mostly everything for now? What's in Battlefield here? Anything new? No, we haven't finished Scenario 2 stuff yet. Fine, let's go! Your persistence is quite unnecessary. This would be simpler if you would stay out of my way. Timekeeper, you must fight this corruption. Do not let the game control you. That's enough. It is time for you to go somewhere out of your element. This game is pulling us into another world. Oh, and she is super effective against these two water guys. So that is good news for us. Uh, it kind of sucks that our healer is going to be weak to the plant guys. But it shouldn't be too much of an issue. As long as the AI keeps her out of the way, we will be fine. Because the, the AI in this game, surprisingly good. And look at that rat jump in that massive sewerage pile. But yeah, the AI for this game is actually better than I was expecting. But it's still very, very far from perfect. Like, let's not beat around the bush. Um, seeing things get stuck quite a lot. Seeing um, game-breaking bugs and things like that. And, um, you know, even though this game is out, it still feels a little bit unpolished. I'm sure it's a lot more polished than it was before, though. So, um, I dread to think of what it used to be like. But, yeah, you can just set it to auto mode. Like, I can put auto mode on right now, for example, and it will just do everything for me. I'm not sure if it's going to move. You gonna move on your own? I guess it just wanted me to click first. So you just have to click forward and then it'll go and use all of the attacks, do its own thing, move out of the way of stuff. But the healers, for some reason, are obsessed with running into characters. Like, you're a mage, basically. You can, you can stay as far away as you want to. You don't need to be the tank of the team. So sometimes you end up having to swap off to the other characters just to, you know, say, no, don't run into the big boss. You're meant to be the healer. You're very flimsy, very fragile. Let's not do that. But there's our level six upgrade. New rewards. I am not watching an ad for that. No thanks. Maybe another day. So then we get to this point here. So this place is unfamiliar to me. You there. What land is this? This is the realm of Valora. We welcome you, stranger. From whence do you come? I come from a place called Earth. There I met an ancient man who sold me something called a soul disc. He said I had powerful magic that it would bestow upon me glory greater than any conqueror. The man was not wrong. You have been pulled into a game played by gods called Invokers. The eternal contest bestows wealth and glory upon the champions who accept its call. Ha! I knew it! I will beat this game and take its power for my own. So this is Yasuo. If you were confused. Blue Yasuo. 
is who this is. So this guy is pretty good early game, from my experience. It says he's a must-have, an epic farmer, and a great adventurer. And his abilities overall are pretty neat. Uh, will I use him? Maybe. I am the timekeeper! I wield the power of time itself! Do you really think you could stop me? Not really, but like, I, I got nothing better to do. Timekeeper, listen to me. I beg of you. The eternal contest is being corrupted. If only you could see it. I see all of time! Backwards, forwards, and everything in between! Who are you to question my sight? Speaking of time, is it time to fight yet? So they just gave us this fourth slot. Of course they want us to use the new guy that we just got given. Fine, we will do it. Uh, it's unfortunate he's fire, so Baba, Baba Crow Girl is probably going to get sizzled a little bit more than I'd like. And you can see that this is the upgraded guy that we just got. This is what he looks like at, what is that, 6 stars level 60? So, um, he does start looking cool eventually. But we'll use this guy, why not? I haven't really shown him off yet. So this move here, the W, is really fun. Because he just sort of whacks everything while he runs. Which is pretty, I don't know, weird? But he has an interesting moveset. And I can see why he'd be good for farming. Like, you go back to lower levels, put on auto, and you just farm everything. And he's, he does seem extremely good for that. Mostly just because he has lifesteal and has a, an, a weird moveset. It seems like the game's getting kind of bugged out at the moment. Like, I'm trying to target things and then he's just kind of stopping. Unless I'm doing something wrong. But look at all the damage and healing we're doing! Just wreck all these bugs. So... I'm still trying to consider it though. Do we need this guy? Because if I get the tank that I want, I don't know if we need this this guy here. Again, he might be useful just as a farming guy, but apart from that, I'm really not sure if I'm interested. Come on, move! And yes, there is a gem sale in DML. You don't need to notify me. I should probably turn off that setting, actually. I mean, I don't really have a use for all of the notifications on PC. And here, here we go. Timekeeper Vimmel. Now, I'd rather you not throw your, your scimitars at me, if we can avoid that. And the healer is in the back here, so we will try and insta-kill him before we do anything. Because otherwise, the boss will not die anywhere near as quickly. So, please actually move correctly. And now we just wail on him for a little bit. I mean, it seems like he's getting stunned or something from whatever we're doing. Just attacking him too much. And yeah, he's he's just going to go down without a fight, really. Pretty sad when you really wreck the bosses. But... I mean, I'd prefer to beat the boss easily than just fail repeatedly. You were right, I see now. I was being controlled. Who did this to you? Was it the powers of the void? No, I would have sensed that. I am familiar with the mundane influence of evil. While I was under the control of the game, I saw something. A Zin monk, a famed ink ninja named Scissory. Wait a second, I know that guy. Short, likes to fight, ride a frog, carries a big old paintbrush and thinks he's a painter. Please ignore the full timekeeper. The Zin monks follow the path of constant light. It is much like what we call the glow. But the glow is the force of good in Valora alone. You can't be saying that this ink ninja has a direct connection to the glow, can you? I do not know Boon Sister, but his fate is aligned with ours. We will need his power to combat the corruption. But again, there's so much talk about corruption. Whatever. We have to go and kill some stuff. Bad things are happening. I get it. And now we get our boss raids, finally. So uh, this is what I was talking about before with the big bull thing and the, the grind sort of beginning a little bit. Oh, we did get a rare token out of that. That is very nice. But we will claim the bonus energy. I don't need your player guide. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. So, the next mission objective is slay the Golden Bull Demon King from the boss raid. 
before we do that, we got our rare token. Do not give me another boon, sister. Okay, we got this guy. This guy's kind of weird, the shark. Uh, don't know if I'm going to use him, but better to have him than another boon, sister, is all I have to say. So, now if we want to go and do boss raids, we can choose it straight from here. So, welcome to boss raids. This is the Elder Drake, defeat it to acquire the best gear. And there are also two kinds of bull demon boss raids. The Golden One guards neutral spirit elixirs needed by all champions to ascend. Each elemental bull demon guards ascension elixirs tied to its element, which are needed by champions of that element to ascend. The elemental bull demon changes daily, so make sure you follow the rotation to help your champion ascend quickly. The challenges of a boss increases with each stage of difficulty, but so do the rewards. So you see on the right here it shows that on Thursday, for example, you get green, on Sunday you get gold, Monday purple, Tuesday red, Wednesday blue. So it is now Friday, which I think means that we just don't get one of the special bull demons, which is kind of unfortunate. And the loot info is... What you get is you can have a chance of getting any of these elixirs. Obviously, the bigger one is the better one and the rarer one. And I think you can only get that a little bit later on. Or you're more likely to get it later on. And we can also fight this dragon here, which gives us chances at gear sets. Which can be super duper helpful. But, um, you know, I think this has gone on for a little bit too long. So we will start with all of the... The boss raiding and stuff like that come next time. So thank you for joining me today. I hope uh, at least it's making some sense about how this game works if you were a little bit confused. Uh, there is a lot to it, so we'll get a lot of getting used to still. And getting a change from Android to PC is still kind of messing with my brain a little bit. So I'm still getting used to that as well. But, you know, like I said, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Until next time, I'll see you then.